I will deliver tonight has been inspired also by the fact that today, this very day, the 30th day of the campaign, 230 economists of Canada teaching in our universities, among them the leading economists of our country, have written a joint letter and they are asking Canada to do what we call the principle of the green shift, to cut taxes on our hard work, to cut taxes on our savings, on our investments, our profits, all the productive activity, and to shift it to pollution. If they are asking us to do as a country, we liberals will deliver. We have a vision for this country. been above all inspired by the concerns Canadians have today. And I have heard that along the last month, and especially the last two weeks, and especially the last days, Canadians were worried. We were worried about our pensions, about our savings. We were worried about our mortgages and our jobs. And we were worried by the fact that we have a Prime Minister who doesn't seem to worry about it. The Prime Minister was saying, be happy. Don't worry. <laughs> He's alone in the world stage to react this way. Around the world, the Americans worry. The Europeans worry. Their leaders are trying to find solutions. Only Stephen Harper is passive, inactive. We developed have a plan for the long term for our children. But if we have a plan now, the first 30 days of a liberal government will implement this plan to do everything we can to help Canadians, to help Canadians about our pensions, our savings, our mortgages, and our jobs. I have explained this plan in the two debates I have had with my fellow leaders. Uh, and you may have noticed, took note, that I was alone to come with the plan. When in the English-speaking debate, uh, uh, an ordinary citizen asked the question, what will be your first decision? Mr. Harper's first decision, he said, will be to bravely continue to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lake's first decision will be to raise the taxes of our companies and employers by $50 million. Imagine what the stock market reaction would be. <laughs> And Madame May said her first, first decision will be to change the electoral system. Okay, my first decision will be to implement this plan for Canadians to make us stronger facing the turmoil coming from the economy of the South, but already affecting our economy. Thanks to Stephen Harper, we have now the worst economic growth of the G8 countries this year. Nine months in a row, nine months in a row of our productivity went down instead of up. We have had this summer, in one month only, 95,000 jobs in the private sector lost. And we have a prime minister saying, don't worry, be happy, everything is fine. The only thing that is fine in this country is the fact that we inherited the strongest economy from liberal governments. accelerated investment in manufacturing in infrastructure to create jobs, well-paid jobs, good jobs, green jobs, new jobs. This is our <laughs> The federal government has money in the budget that they are holding back, waiting for the photo ops and the approval of Stephen Harper. There is no time to waste. We need shovels in the ground. We need to improve our public transit, our green infrastructure. We need to create jobs now. It's what we will do. <laughs> One of the reasons why we are resisting as much as possible, if you compare with the United States, is because in the United States, they have one of the worst regulated banking systems of the world. 
thanks to the ideology of George W. Bush, it's where they are. Thanks to Jean Chrétien, Paul Martin, who resisted to that. We have still a banking system that is well regulated. But look what is the ideology of Stephen Harper and the Conservatives. Look, the food safety crisis in which we are. How much we learn that they are deregulated in an unprudent way. It was not cautious for them to do that, but it's their ideology. The only thing they know is to cut the role of the government. You cannot deal with an economic turmoil as the one we have if you have a conservative government. Because a conservative government does not believe in the role of the government to help the people. But we the Ross, we believe in it. financial regulators, the Bank of Canada and the others, to evaluate our regulatory framework and our fiscal position will ensure that we are doing all that we can to protect Canadians, our savings, our homes, our pensions, and we will work with premiers. Unlike Stephen Harper, I will meet with our premiers to work towards common goals. We have to be partners. I have been Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs longer than any other Canadian since Confederation. I know that we are in the obligation to work together to help Canadians. It is what I will do with the premiers of our country. Yeah. Les Québécois, les gens qui ont une vie d'année tous ensemble, on va être plus fort ensemble. In challenging economic times, we must work together because we are stronger together. All Canadians together. Yeah.